Welcome guys! Today we will have a closer look on the new vaulting feature which is currently live on the test servers and will be for some hours more to come. This guide is a guide to a feature not yet released on the official servers, but I'm not going to miss the opportunity to dive into this and give you some tips as to how you can implement vaulting in your gameplay. This guide will go over the following. Quick general overview of the feature, breaching buildings and flanking enemies, using vaulting with vehicles, and a neat mind trick. Vaulting can be performed by moving close to an obstacle and pressing your jump key while moving forward. There is a limit as to how high you can climb and that limit is no coincidence. It is abundantly clear that the intention of the developers aren't to make this game a new Assassin's Creed. This shows by the very high limitations to which buildings and roofs you can actually climb on top of. There are some opportunities to do this, but like I said, it's highly limited. I think this is a good thing, as you won't suddenly have to check every single rooftop in the game. Crouch jumping becomes obsolete with vaulting, as you can vault through the windows that you were previously able to crouch jump through. It is also possible to vault through thin windows, and a good rule of thumb is that if a window doesn't have bars, you can vault through it. There are limitations to this too, if either side of the window is obstructed, or the window is too vertically narrow. Vaulting through a window will break it, making noticeable noise in the near proximity, so you can't move through a window without breaking it like you can with crouch jumping. This means that if you hear a window breaking in your building, it is certainly possible that someone just entered it. Looting will also become more efficient with the implementation of vaulting, as you will now be able to easily jump off these small balconies when looting these houses, jump out of windows without potentially failing crouch jumping, or simply move between buildings faster. Breaching and flanking enemies now this is definitely the most significant effect the vaulting feature will have on the gameplay. You can now breach buildings much more easily, as buildings will have more entrances by the means of jumping through windows. This is going to be huge, as being able to breach buildings like this will make it increasingly difficult to defend them. Another part of this is the highly increased mobility in every area that has walls, boxes, destroyed vehicles or similar objects. Areas where you would otherwise have a difficult time quickly flanking an enemy or get away in a tight situation. And when vaulting over obstacles you do lose a bit of momentum, making it easier to hit you in the vaulting moment. This is important to be aware of as that makes vaulting not always the best choice in a getaway situation. There are places where you won't be able to breach the building, due to ledges being too high to reach, but this is where the vehicles come into play. The buggy and dacha will enable you to get higher and get into otherwise unreachable positions, thereby further adding to the many possibilities of vaulting. The US does not work for this purpose, as it would be overpowered by allowing you to reach unintentionally high points. For that reason you cannot climb on top of the US. But the dacha and the buggy still allow you to do this, and you will also be able to climb onto different roofs using these vehicles as platforms. And on a side note, vehicles has gotten much easier to handle, and the dacha can now reach a speed of over 130 km per hour. And while also being a great vehicle for cover and usable as a climbing platform to get to otherwise unreachable locations, I'd say the Dacia got a huge buff in this patch. Finally, I got a neat mind trick for you. Since the sound of breaking windows now will be directly linked to someone bolting through a window, there is a huge potential for driving your enemies crazy and performing some super sneaky fakes. If you have a VSS or a pistol with a suppressor, you will have an audible range of less than 80 meters. So if you shoot the windows using a silent weapon, you will be able to completely fool your enemies. And this is even more relevant using a crossbow, as your enemy will only be able to hear the broken glass. So in theory, you could break the glass on one side of the building, while moving in on the other. So in conclusion you could say that vaulting is smooth, easy to use and feels great, 
It is a feature which tactically changes the gameplay, especially in urban areas. Climbing to high places and roofs is highly limited, as that is clearly not the intention of the feature. Using vaulting to breach buildings or flank enemies is something which is going to be a big part of combat. Vehicles will play an important part in getting in advantageous positions due to their application as platforms. This is true for the buggy and the Dacia, but not the US. Now that's all I had for you guys in this video. I will be going into depth with the other features, such as the new ballistic system, as these features get more finished. I won't just tell you what the patch notes say, you can read that for yourself, but instead I will bring you knowledge as how you need to adapt your aiming due to these changes instead. As always, my aim is to make you a better gamer, and if you like the content of the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.